Hello everyone and welcome to another Bills Baseball Vlog. We've hit the All-Star break, which means it's time to take a look and a reflect of the first half of the season. And I'm going to tell you the teams that have surprised me the most and have disappointed me the most so far this season. So there's really going to be no topics to discuss going, you know, with this video today. It's just going to be the teams that have surprised me the most and have disappointed me the most. I'm going to start off in the American League. Um, the team that has surprised me the most, and I'm actually really glad about them, is the Baltimore Orioles. Because last year, they had a really good run, had a chance to get a wild card, and then just kind of collapsed towards the end of the regular season, did not make the playoffs. I think a lot of expectation going into this season was, okay, the Orioles are going to come down to earth. They're going to be towards the back of the pack. You know, they're not going to be able to keep up with the Tampa Bays, the Torontos, the Yankees of the world. But here we are at the All-Star break, Orioles on a five-game winning streak, two games out of first place in the American League East, second best record in the American League, second best record in the American League, third best record in all of baseball, and they are in a position to where they can win this division. They can win this division. With two and a half months left to go in the season, the Orioles have a legit shot to win the American League East. I'm even going to go so far as to say, I think the O's have a legit shot to win the pennant this year. I really do. The way that the bats are just fantastic. They're getting players back at the right time. Their bullpen has been phenomenal. My only concern, though, is their starting pitching, but it hasn't been as bad, so that's a good sign. So it's going to be interesting to see where the O's go the rest of the way, especially when we get closer to trading time, because they're going to have to make some decisions on if they're going to you know, trade players away to get players to help them. If they do, I think it would have to be their starting rotation. That's the only thing. I think if they are able to get some quality starting pitchers come the de the trade deadline, we could be seeing these guys far into October. So now that takes me to the most disappointing team in the American League I feel so far this season, and it's the Seattle Mariners. And the reason I the the, the, the reason I picked the Mariners. They had a terrific season last year. Got to the playoffs for the first time in 20 years, over 20 years. Won a series. And then, in all three games, even though they did get swept by Houston, who eventually went on to win the World Series, they were in every game in those three games in that series. And the thought was, okay, this team's ready. They're ready to compete for a division. Maybe that you know. Maybe they're going to do something. Well, they haven't quite lived up to expectations. Not saying that their season is done. They're far from it. But I expected the Seattle Mariners to at least be at best second place in the AL West by the time we got to the All Star break, and they right now are third place. They are a game above 500, which is good, but I expected more from them. I, I really did. And then they gave that big contract to Rodriguez in the offseason. Um, obviously, it's going to take time for him, I think, to become one of the best players in the major leagues. But I, I had a bit of a high expectation for the Mariners. Uh in going into this season and right now they haven't lived up to it but 
they're not out of the mix. They're not out of this, you know, race for a wild card or a division, which I'll talk the standings about in a little bit, but they're kind of my disappointment team in the AL. Um, so now I'm going to go to the National League. My surprise team, this was a toughie to pick. Because up until a few weeks ago, my pick would have been the Pittsburgh Pirates. And, and they are a surprise team. They have really surprised people, you know, this season. Um, I think maybe the injuries and playing better teams has finally caught up to them. So I think that is why they kind of got pushed to the number two spot. The team that has surprised me the most in the National League is the Cincinnati Reds. Did not think for a minute they would be atop the division by the time of the All-Star break. Did not think that at all. I thought they were going to stay at the bottom. I thought it would be Milwaukee, St. Louis, Chicago. Pardon me. I figured those were going to be the teams that would you know would be in the mix for the division here we are now july 10th reds are in first place they got ellie de la cruz who has become a phenom you know coming right out from the minors he's really helped spark this reds team and if they keep playing the way they are reds are going to win this division i i really think they will so it's going to be interested to keep an eye on the Reds. Like I said in a video, a previous video, this is going to be the division. I, I really feel this is going to be the division. We will have to keep our eye on the rest of the way because there's three, four teams that have a legit shot to win the National League Central. And I still feel that way. And I'm going to stay with the Central because the team that disappointed that has disappointed me the most so far in the National League is the St. Louis Cardinals. It's the Cardinals. They're traditionally good. They're traditionally in it year in, year out. You know, they were in the playoffs last year, won the division. They're traditionally very good. I don't know what in the world happened to the Cardinals this year. It's like 2023 came and the team just decided to collapse and they're in last place i never thought i'd say that the st louis cardinals in last place in the national league central at the all-star break never would have thought that um obviously they could be going through a rebuilding period right now uh who knows how long it's going to take for them to get back the top form. I don't. I. I really don't expect them to make a run for a wild card spot. They're, they'd have to go on an insane winning streak to even be in contention. Um. You know, for that. But I, I'm just disappointed. And, and I'm sure a couple. You know, some of you watching this probably thinking, well, why don't you say the Phillies? Why don't you say the Mets? Phillies get a pass because. They had injuries in spring training that, you know, you kind of can't get over. And they actually are in a good spot. They're in third place in their division. So the Phillies get a pass. And the Mets, it's the Mets. They're not disappointing. Like, they're, they're not at that point where it's like, oh my God, this is such a disappointment. It's, it's the freaking Mets. That's all I'm going to say. All right. So now let's take a look at where everybody is at the All-Star break. And I'm going to start with the best division in baseball, the AL East. Tampa Bay, best record in the American League, 58-35. and 35. A two-game lead on the Baltimore Orioles. However, they are tied with the same number of losses. Toronto is third at 50 and 41. They're seven back. Yankees are eight back. And the Red Sox are nine games back. Everybody in that division has a winning record. So if you took 
any of the other teams that is not Tampa Bay and Baltimore, put them in the American League Central, they'd be in first place. Speaking of the American League Central, the Cleveland Guardians are in first place with a 500 record. No, really, a 500 record. They're 45 and 45. Have a half game lead on the Twins, five and a half on Detroit, eight on the White Sox, and 19 and a half on the Kansas City Royals. And in the American League West, the Rangers are in first place with a 52-39 record, two games ahead of the Astros, six games ahead of Seattle, seven ahead of the Angels, and 27 and a half games ahead of the Oakland A's at 25 and 67. Oof. To the National League, the Atlanta Braves have the best record, not only in the National League, but in all of baseball with a 60 and 29 record. They have an eight and a half game lead on Miami, 12 on Philadelphia, 18 and a half games ahead of the Mets, and 24 and a half games ahead of the Nationals. In the National League Central, the Reds at 50 and 41 lead the division. They have a one game lead on Milwaukee. Those two teams are going to have a big series when the second half of the season starts. That series is in Cincinnati. Seven games ahead of the Cubs, eight and a half ahead of Pittsburgh, and 11 and a half ahead of St. Louis. And finally, in the National League West, the Dodgers and the Diamondbacks are tied for first. However, the Dodgers have the tiebreaker because of percentage points in the NL West. The Giants are two and a half back, San Diego eight and a half back, and the Rockies 18 games back. And going to take a look for the first time this season at the wild card standings. See where everybody is at this point, pardon me. The Orioles have the top spot. They have the top wild card, which if the season were to end today, would mean they would get to host a first round series. They are five games ahead of both Houston and Toronto, who have the other two wild card spots. Meanwhile, the Yankees are one game out, Boston two, Seattle four, the Angels and the Twins both five back, Detroit ten games back, the White Sox twelve and a half, Kansas City twenty-four, and Oakland twenty-five and a half games out of the wildcard spot. And in the National League, your top three wildcard teams right now are the Marlins and the Giants. Uh, the Giants have a half game lead on both Philadelphia and Milwaukee for the final wild card spot. San Diego six back, the Cubs six and a half, the Mets seven, Pittsburgh eight, St. Louis 11, Washington 13 back, and the Rockies 15 and a half games out of the final wild card. Uh, I do want to do a quick plug real quick. Last night, I did a simulation of tonight's Home Run Derby. Uh, that video is up so you guys can check it out to see who won the Home Run Derby by using MLB The Show 23. So check that out. Uh, if you guys have any questions or comments concerning baseball, leave them in the comments section. And thank you all for watching, and I'll talk to you all here next time on Bill's Baseball Vlog.